Today I want to do a quick review um, on the Masterson Stay Wet Handy Palette. Um, this is the one I've been using for the past few years. Uh, it works great. It's smaller. It's the uh, 8x10. Uh, you can see that uh, the paint that's on the palette, which was left last Thursday, and this is Monday, it looks like it was just mixed up this morning. Uh, but I have a larger project. And I want to be able to have more paint. This is a little restrictive in its size. So I have purchased the Super Pro Palette, Stay Wet Palette um, by Masterson. And I am going to open it and look at it for the first time with you. There's another one that's available at most of the um, art outlets that has a red top on it. I didn't want a red cover. I um, want the white. Um, red is not conducive in, in any way um, when I'm painting. So white is the ticket for me. And uh, this one's going to be a little bit different than, than the other that I have um, used. And, uh, Apparently we can facilitate use of the cover. So alright. This is the cover. I'm a little curious to see if this fits into the cover. And it does not. That it says your palette is made of a smooth, sturdy plastic material. To keep the palette from sliding around on your table surface, affix the enclosed rubber discs to your palette in the circles in each corner on the top and bottom of the palette. And I don't know that I want those yet, so I'm gonna set that aside and. I'm not sure why they do this, but <laughs> the sponge is never quite the right size. It has to be trimmed. And if you trim it wrong, you know, I would like to see it just fit just a little bit. You know, here it's hanging over one side and it's short on this side. This doesn't grow a whole lot when you get it wet. So, but Aside from that, they sent me five pieces of the special palette paper and one sponge. And what I do with this is I uh, put the palette paper into a large microwaveable dish, like a 9 by 13, and I um, will put that in the microwave and bring that to a boil and that um, treats the paper so that it and makes it so that it's usable in this uh, um, palette and it'll suck the moisture up through the sponge and help to keep the um, palette wet and all of your paint in a nice consistent manner. So I'm gonna try to use it this time and we'll see what um, happens. This is a lot heavier weight than this plastic palette. I kind of expected it to be more of this bendable plastic. Um, I suppose one could get different sponges for these different areas. Could buy another sponge and then uh, fit into there if I wanted to say um, use this top as a mixing an, an additional pa uh, palette 
I don't think that's what I want to do. But I will let you know how it all works out when I um, actually use it. But I thought it would be interesting to show you. Uh, these must be the dots they're talking about. And, uh, that's the uh, Super Pro, Masterson Super Pro. Yeah, that's right.